Hi, and welcome to the bench. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by Sean Bennett of Waywest Resort and also co-owner of Moonlight Flies. And what are we tying up today? Uh, West Coast Grid Pattern. Great, and uh, pattern can be used for any kind of fish? Uh, it's, it's a great pattern for species in the area. All the silvers like the coho and the coho, chinook. Coho, chinook, uh, possibly some bottom fish. Great. Make sure you have this list of ingredients ready before you tie the fly. We're going to use some green saddle hackle for the tail, along with some glow-in-the-dark flashaboo and some dyed green grizzly hackle. For the hook, we're going to use a size 2 aught mustad, 34011. Some lead eyes for the eyes. We're going to use some green ice chenille for the body and some clear uni mono thread as a thread. So we're all ready to start the fly. What are we going to start off with? We're going to start off with some green saddle hackle. Okay, and you got a few, how many? Six, six to eight uh, strands of saddle hackle. And I'm just going to even them up to the cone okay. and just cut out, clip off the ends. Now what I do is I put them right up against the cone head and that'll actually hold the cone head right up tight against the eye of the hook. Uh, we're adding some white glow-in-the-dark flashaboo, and I tie that in the head as well, and I fold it over the thread, take it down, and then I'm pulling it down each side of, of the pattern. Oh, that's nice. So basically nice. you have some on, on each side of the fly. We're adding a piece of green saddle hackle, just a little longer than the... Actually, it's uh, dyed over green grizzly saddle hackle. And uh, I'm adding a piece down this side, and then I will turn the vise over and add a piece at this side. Okay, so two saddle hackles. That's right. I'm, I'm, uh... Okay, we're going to take our thread from the front of the hook, or the eye of the hook, right in front of the gap, and tie in the lead eyes. These are to imitate the eyes of the squid. And you just made them lead to skip down a little bit, help some weight in the fly? That's right. Okay, next we're going to tie in some ice chenille. I just frayed, <clears throat> excuse me, a tag of it. We're going to tie it in right behind the eyes. And now I'm taking my thread to the front of the hook. Okay. We've got a rotary vise here, so I'm just going to set that there. And then we're going to basically palmer this to the front. Weaving in between your eyes. Correct. Yeah, I like that vice, the way, it, the way you can move it, hold it, it right up. It uh, is a time saver, that's for sure. Now once we get up to the cone head, swing that out of the way and tie off the ice chenille. Well, Sean, thanks a lot for tying it up. One of my producers and my pleasure tying it. Great. Well, stay tuned. We've got some great fishing coming up. So that, that is how they, they show on the sound, and a lot of people just think that that is weed and kelp. It's in a, actually a school of fish sitting on the bottom. When they're moving or, or schooling and moving, they'll show up as, as long streaks. Oh, on the there's a nice one. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't give you a chance to talk about it, but <laughs> <laughs> I got a big fish on here. Oh, man. I'll show you how far down they are so you know how much line you got to let exactly. down. Exactly. I just waited until it got down. Oh, this guy's just muscling for the bottom. Oh. oh, these fish, they are tough. They are really tough. They don't dance out of the water, but they just tugboat. They go right for the <laughs> bottom and try to get you out. Oh, you do a day of this fishing, you're going to get tired. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just peeled off a bunch of line. This one's a big one, I think. I think so. Good. It feels big. Yeah, it feels like one of the bigger ones. How big do they get, Sean? How big will the fish be? Uh, apparently, they can get up to nine pounds, which uh, I haven't seen one that large. Geez, there's a, there was three behind them chasing Oh, them. look at the oh. size of that well, one. You got one earlier that was probably in the five, six pound range. Yeah, look at I that. mean, they don't look like they're five pounds looking. until you grab them by the bottom lip and you haul them out of the water. Right, but, yeah, well, you know what we'll do is we'll show the folks the, uh, show this one. Yeah, get a real good look at this guy here. If I don't drop him. And then, show uh, the eyeballs and the lips and everything. Oh, oh yeah. look at the spines. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. <laughs> and this, they got real big eyeballs. This is a, this is a decent uh, table fish too. And they are good eating. They are good eating. Yeah. 